Hello guys, Chiefsoe123 here, and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be showing you my top 10 best things about Splatoon 2. So, in a few seconds, let's get into it. With number 1, the weapons. Now in Splatoon 2 there are more weapons than you can count. Like seriously, there are over 200 weapons. That's just a guess. But seriously, they, they come in all shapes and sizes. Like, rollers, regular shots, snipers, sloshes, sloshing, uh, splat brellas, brushes, more than, you can, more than you can tell in any other game. And there's so much variety in the number of weapons that you have to choose a favorite. Like my favorite was the Aero Spray RG, which was the which is a normal shooting weapon. But then, just a few months ago, I switched to the uh, custom Dooley Squelches, which are Dooleys, which is another type of weapon. But yeah, as you can see here, I have so many weapons that I never use. Which, I guess that, that, that's a good thing, because um, even though you never use them, you can always, like, you're not just stuck with one, you can always choose and go back to more. So, if you get bored of one, you can switch to another, and you have all these to choose from. Now, there are more, because I don't have... I don't have all of them. Here's my favourite one at the moment. But yeah, I don't have all the weapons. Mainly because I don't have enough gold. And you can't buy anything in this game. Apart from the Arctic Expansion, which is just a uh, single player DC DLC. And I also like to play the Octolings, which I'm playing right now. But more on that later. But for now, here's how the... Uh, and do his work. And let's get into number two. Alright, so moving on to number two, we have the specials and subs. What do I mean? Well, every weapon that I was just talking about has a sub weapon and a special weapon. Sub weapon can be deployed at any time, it's usually like a burst bomb or just something they can pressure opponents with. While the specials, as I'm going through them, they you have to charge up your meter by inking more turf and then you can use your special specials and yes I just did say special special specials and this is the special which comes with mine which is called the ink storm which basically just covers a, a, a huge amount of area now you do get others too but that's just the one that my weapon comes with and that's the burst bomb and not the burst bomb, it's plat bomb yeah there's so many like this one here is the I can't remember what you call it, Squid Beacon, I think. Where anyone, if you go, if they go on the map, can super jump to that area. So it's useful. And then you've got the Toxic Mist. Which is just another example. Where it makes players lose ink. There's so many different specials. Some of them are better than others, obviously. And so many different specials. But for now, here's just some, here's just some of the basics. So let's get on to number three. Number three is the gear. Now, just just like the weapons, there are so many pieces of gear. Like, I mean, seriously, there's over 200, I'd say. Actually, if you combine them all, which is hats, hats, uh, like shirts, and shoes, it's probably over like 600. Now, tell me that's not insane. Yes. 200 that is the most customization customization of all thing i've seen in any game ever and especially in a good game like this not like fortnite but yeah and they're super easy to get all you need is is with gold which you get gold from rattling remember you can't pay in this game and as you can see here with my clothes i've just got two so many 
the you end up just switching between all of them and it's good having lots of customization of all options because it means that not everyone looks the same like not everyone wears the same amount of gear no one looks the same well i guess you you could get like new players wearing the same outfits and stuff like that but that's really really rare and no one ever wears the same gear well, well apart from me right now because the gears match up and they're from um dlc but yeah let's talk about that later shall we so let's move on to number four number four be a squid or an octopus yes in Splatoon 2, if you haven't already noticed, this is a game where you can be a squid, or what I am right now, an octopus. Now, the octopus comes in DLC, which you do have to pay for, like I said earlier on, but it doesn't provide any competitive advantage in Fortnite. Um, but yeah, you can like, oh yeah, you can also change your hairstyles and stuff like that. But um, if depending on where what gender and uh, type of thing you are, like if you're an inkling or an oxling. I was currently an oxling, but as you can see here, you got like oxling boy, oxling girl, oxling inkling boy, inkling girl. The inklings are the originals, while the oxlings you have to beat the DLC, as I have already just mentioned. More on the DLC in a bit. But as you can see here, there's, you can be a squid, you can be a kid. You can be an octopus. What more could you want from a game? Which is already so brilliant. <laughs> yeah, it's really unique. Moving on to number five. Number five, the Octo Expansion. If you haven't already heard me talking about DLC, then yeah, I'm talking about it again. The Octo Expansion is a DLC that came out literally less than a week ago for me and it is already brilliant it comes with over 90 different single player levels 90 S some of them range from pretty easy to insanely hard though they are all fun neither less you've got so many different ones and no two are get tedious or are the same as each other you even freaking ride a train which is pretty insane and there are bosses there's things you can unlock it's just insane and you get to be an octopus yeah in uh, if you beat it the final boss you get to play as an oxling in the multiplayer battles we're on the multiplayer battles later but yeah, look how many different levels there are. They're just so insane. And some of them, like this one that I'm about to do, involve some of the specials that I was on about earlier. Well, this one is the one that I don't show off, which is called the Ink Jet, which allows you to fly around in a jet. Well, the, well this stage allows you to n go around flying with jet while avoiding very dangerous obstacles going through an obstacle course. So yeah, it, sh it shows um, all the specials in such a unique way that's never been done before in any other game, which is just so amazing. And the levels are also very fun. I have never gotten bored while playing this, and I still go back and replay the levels, even now. Yeah, as you can see here, the levels can be short, they can be long, but let's move on to number Number six, which is the hero mode. What is the hero mode, you might ask? Well, the hero mode is the single player mode that you don't have to pay for. You get it with the game. Uh, the single player, while it might not be as good as the Ultra Expansion, it is still really good. With over, I think it's got 27 levels. And now, you, now you're going, wait, what? That's so cheap. The Ultra Expansion had 90. Be aware that the... These ones are longer than the others. They're, at, they're like actual levels instead of missions and challenges like the Auto Expansion. And you get to try out all these different weapons. Where if you like beat all the levels with a certain weapon you'll unlock replicas. 
in most player battles. There's bosses, again, which are very fun, like this one here. You get to navigate between different sectors, which are all different, moving from uh, hard, I mean easy to hard. And yeah, some of them, even the final boss, for example, have really good uh, music. More on that in just a second. But here, if you, yeah, you get all these different environments where you have to find the entrances to the to the actual levels. It's just it's just insane. So here, I'm gonna just show you a little bit of the final boss. Um, just so you can get an idea of what the bosses are like. They are very very fun. I love these bosses. I've played this one over about 50 times probably. Mainly because it's so fun and it never gets boring. Just like the other levels. They introduce storyline to some loved characters. They're just insane. Like, this one involves dodging, shooting back. It's just insane. That's all I can say just insane and very fun remember that it's very fun like you have to dodge bombs moving on to number seven number seven the maps now in this game there is multiplayer like i've already mentioned a few times now in the multiplayer there you have different modes i'll talk about the modes in a second but it, there's there is over 21 different maps which cycle around every two hours so you, the probability of you getting the same one in over like the course of a week is very slim they're always different so i mean yes you can get favorites with the maps because well everyone has favorites but even some of them like the one i'm about to show you involves you walking around a freaking Amusement park. Like, who's seen that in a game about squids and shooting? I have not. But yeah, here's just some of the, some of the maps that this game has to offer, and they keep. And every update, they add more and more maps, which is just insane. There's more and more maps every every single time an update. So I bet by the, like, the lifetime of Splatoon 2, we'll have over 30 maps. 30 different maps in one game. That is absolutely insane. But like this map, this is the amusement park map. Where it just looks incredible. The graphics in this game are amazing. Moving on to number 8. Number 8, the music. Now like I mentioned just a minute ago. Some of the music for the like the bosses... And just in the game in general, like, Turf War is just amazing. Here I'm going to show you one from the first game, which is absolutely amazing. So why don't you just have a listen. Yeah, see, if you don't find that amazing, then you've got something wrong with you. It's like, it's just one of the game's amazing songs, it's called Calamari Incantation. Here's another one, which is from the, f the final boss of the Arc expansion. Moving on to number nine, we have the 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 turf war and modes. 
Now for this I'm going to be after showing off some, one of my old videos which shows turf war. Now there are so many different m modes in this game. Now, you've got turf war which is the one that's on screen right now. You've got rainmaker where you have to carry this overpowered weapon to the goal without you dying. There's uh, splat zones which involves you keeping control of an area. There's um, tower control which I uh, involves riding a tower to the opponent's side and there's also clam blitz which involves you going around the map collecting clams and throwing them in, into the opposite team's baskets um the main one is turf war though that's the one that everyone does from the start of the game it's the most the one that splatoon 2 is most recognizable for and it's very fun like he gets good walk around the map um Go over to the opponent's side and try and cover as much ink as possible. Like, cover as much area as possible. While also avoiding the, uh, the other team, which both teams are a team of four. 4v4. Four four. It's like that in all modes. But moving on to number, number 10, 10 is the Splatfest. Now, what is the Splatfest, you might ask? The Splatfest is, I'm showing you in our video as well. It is when um, there's... Two main teams, so they might have a theme, like it might be ice cream versus cake, and you've got to choose that team, and players from both teams fight against each other and try and win the most matches. Now the Incopolis Square turns into an amazing light show, and there's awesome music. You even get three stages instead of uh, three stages at a time instead of two, which is just insane it is a ton of fun the splat fests are, are always different you get them about once every two or three weeks and everyone participates it's a ton of fun um, and at the end all the points are added up like which team won the most but that is all I've got time for so I hope you've enjoyed the video if you did like leave a like and video share support channel and I'll see you Next video.